guys, it's Shayna, and today we're gonna be doing my hair. I'm gonna show you how to do this awesome, quick and easy little braided hairstyle. You guys know I love my braided hairstyles. So, let's go ahead and get started. For this hairstyle, you're gonna need bobby pins, a rubber band, and whatever styling tool you wanna use. So, I slept with my hair wrapped up because it is still straight. Roxanne, my hair. I don't know if I've ever said this on, like on YouTube. So for those of you who didn't know, I've named my hair Roxanne and because she has a personality of her own. So I'm gonna comb my hair out of my wrap and I'm not going to use any type of styling oil today. If you need to use a styling oil, you're more than what, or any type of styling product, you're more than welcome to. My hair just doesn't need it right now, so I'm not gonna add anything. using my wide tooth comb for this hairstyle but like I said before use whatever styling tool works for you I'm gonna start by making a deep side part with my wide tooth comb next I'm gonna grab my paddle brush and start to brush all of the hair over to one side it's kind of like how you start to wrap your hair when you push your hair over when you start to put it in the circle, but you're just going to push it around until it gets to the front of your face. So it's gonna end up looking kind of like Jessica Rabbit. Ow. So I'm gonna turn around so you can see the back of my hair. Since my hair is bone straight right now, I like to put a braid in the very back of my head so that it helps to keep all of the hair pushed over to the side. Because when I don't put the braid back there, the braid in the front doesn't come together as well. And then there's like this weird little gap type situation. So that's why I put that little braid in the back. Now I'm going to braid down the front part of my hair and for this part, I start like kind of at eye level, so I kind of get that little Aaliyah swoop going. So I like to grab the, fr the first strand of hair from the front of my hair, and then I grab a second strand of hair, and it's not directly next to that one. It kind of skips like a, a chunk of hair. So... Maybe this will help you to be able to see it because my hair is kind of dark, so I'm not sure how well it's gonna pick up on the screen. And I'm going to start braiding from here down. And I'm gonna keep pulling hair in from the middle of my head so that it all gets blended in. So once I get right below my ear, I'm gonna remove the bottom pin so that I can start incorporating the back, the braid that I put in the back with the braid in the front. And make sure you pull the hair from the back corner of your hair down so that there's no bulging. So you're just gonna do a regular three strand braid and braid it until it gets all the way to the end of your hair and then you're gonna tie it off with a rubber band. So now we're gonna go back up to the bang section. And we're gonna take uh, that very first strand of hair that's right at the front of our face, and we're gonna pull that out just a little bit so that it can make the it can make that swoop look more organized and like it has itself together. Then we're gonna take another strand of hair. It's going to be like two strands below that first, that very first strand. I hope that makes sense. And it's going to flow with this, the first strand that you pulled out. And we're going to take the excess and push it up and over that first strand so it kind of makes like a little wave. Then I like to take a bobby pin and push and put it in the back corner of my hair and that just helps to keep the braid controlled and pull it down closer to your neck so that there's not a weird that weird like gap 
and you may have to also do that on the top side of the braid as well um, just take a few bobby pins however many you need and just place them where you need make sure that it they're kind of close to the or under the braid so that they're not as visible And then you want to comb or brush down any flyaway hairs and you're good to go. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.